Hi, my name is Benoit, and I want to talk to you about this, the Pentax LX, and why I think it's the best value 35mm film SLR that you can get. Now, like all professional cameras, the LX has got a deep and robust feature set and quality lenses to match up with those features. On the exposure fronts, you've got automatic exposure, exposure compensation, and a very clear meter in the viewfinder. In terms of build quality, it's actually second to none. Unlike many of its peers from the 80s, this camera is actually weather sealed. Well, that's standard now, but back then was very unique. And as a little bonus feature, when you've cocked the shutter, there's a tiny little red icon that appears just by the shutter speed dial to tell you that the camera's ready to go and is just another example of how well thought out the Pentax is from a user experience point of view. When you're choosing between professional 35mm film cameras to buy on eBay or from a camera shop second hand, they've all got very similar features. Choosing between one is a matter of taste. The Pentax ticks so many boxes that I can't believe it's not more popular than it is. It's the small little details that set the LX apart from other cameras I've used in its kind of price range and grade. Things like the meter on the inside of the viewfinder. Vintage cameras do this in a number of different ways, you know, from the Leica, which just has a triangle, circle, triangle, if you get the M6, or sometimes I'll show you the shutter speed. And other cameras use a needle set against the glass of the viewfinder, so you see it above your image. And the Pentax kind of adopts a combination of those two approaches, where you have a little LED scale that goes up and down and is coloured green, orange, and red. That is not set on the image, that is off to the side in the viewfinder, so you could always see it no matter the light. So you know where the middle is, where the orange is, where you might get away with it in a dark situation. You know where that green is, where you'll absolutely get away with it. That small aid to taking photos makes shooting with the camera delightful. Compared to the FM3A I owned, where the needle kept jumping around and it, it would hover and move, it was very distracting in the image. And then, when you were in a slightly darker situation, which is usually where I tend to be shooting, you know, with available lights, just documenting my life, it became actually hard to use the light meter in the camera. And for a camera that costs three to four times the price of this on eBay secondhand because of the clout, that just isn't acceptable to me at all. And having said that, most professional camera systems from the 80s and 90s tend to have good lenses and a big back catalogue of lenses you can choose from. I think what sets the Pentax lenses apart is how little they cost considering how good they are. My experience with the lenses overall is that they are extremely high quality and strike a really nice balance between having a nice feel in the hand, feeling high quality, while also not being enormous. You can see the quality of the 100mm lens for yourself because I shot all of the close-up macro shots of the LX on that lens. When you combine the small, efficient little lenses that come in the Pentax system with the tightly designed and user-friendly LX, you've got a combination that you just want to take everywhere with you. But having said all that, of course, there are things that aren't so great about the camera. And the most obvious of those is the strap lug design. To me, it uh, doesn't really add anything to the camera, and if anything, makes it a little bit harder to use because it gets in the way of where your fingers want to be on the body on both sides. Now, there is an advantage where you can mount the strap to one side of the camera here and have it hang on your body like this, but to me, that is not a very nice way to carry the camera. It just doesn't feel as secure as the sort of side mounted lugs that most other cameras have. And having said I loved the meter in the viewfinder and generally the experience of looking through it, I have to say the fact that it's removable nowadays isn't really that useful. Um, I've tried the waist level viewfinder and all it does is create a shade over the viewfinder, it doesn't magnify, it doesn't reverse the meter on the inside because the meter is the wrong way around when you take the finder off. So what do I think of the Pentax LX? I love it. Compared to similarly specced Canons, Nikons, Leicas, it gets the quality to price ratio completely perfect for me. You're paying a bit more for something nice, but you get what you pay for exactly with this camera. 
I wanted a high quality, fun camera that I can use in my spare time to document my life. And for me, the Pentax LX delivers. I can't recommend it highly enough. And I regret that prices will probably go up on eBay if enough people see this video. So that's the Pentax LX. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.